everyone it's day 80 of my 365 and I'm back up on top of my shed this time the leaves are here starting to starting to open up almost open and I don't know I I I, I feel like this is a very important post about uh, life in general uh, today on day 80 I, I want to be very, very grateful for good sex. Yeah, good sex. But when I say that, I really want to take a second to clarify. I'm sorry, I'm just pulling my, I'm wiggling this for a second, guys. I'm, uh, I wanted to clarify what exactly I mean by that. Because I'm not just talking about a good throwdown where everybody breaches their achievement or lets loose I'm talking about trust and intimacy and healthy communication sure yeah a, a fun roll in the hay and all of that is great but it is really isn't it about letting myself enjoy that moment being able to release myself into the singular moment to maximize its its joy and its its depth. You see, if I'm caught in my head, if I'm overthinking, if I'm trying too hard, if I'm worried about what my partner's thinking, if I'm doing it because I feel obligated, or if I'm in this because I feel like, oh, I need it, I need it, instead of just being, you see, the best and most exciting intimacy is when we participate in the creating of the depth of it through singular focus, release, trust, and giving. Being able to give of ourselves fully to that experience and then to find the blessings and the miracle within it. You see, we go through life and, you know, at my age, 53 I've had a lot of good sex <laughs> on the other hand it took me a long time in my life to learn how to fully engage engage my heart into that process engage my focus fully into that process instead of trying to perform or trying to keep up or match it or trying to outdo maybe lovers of the past or any of that weird insecurity driven stuff there's something so beautiful to being able to chill out to give and receive to be able to be fully enmeshed and immersed in passion and intimacy whether or not it's about completion there's something so incredibly beautiful about sensuality and sexuality when we are in it for the single purpose of that moment with no agenda out of just passion and excitement and joy and release and woo. So it's a necessary component to my gratitude journal because this is something I am truly grateful for. Not only grateful for the fact that it can happen, but grateful that I have matured and grown enough to allow this to fully happen. Not just to have sex or intimacy, but to be able to receive or experience it, to choose well for myself, to be able to let it be moments of great joy and heightened experience on such an incredible level. And to receive it almost as a meditation of a sort, not an active one. <laughs> but this is an important component and it's worth thinking about. If you catch yourself trapped in your head or overthinking or trying too hard or, or tangled up in too much thought, too much process, too much planning, too much overthinking, it, you're really stealing from yourself and stealing from your partner. So I hope that all of you are enjoying your beautiful, beautiful day. I'm back up on top of this shed because I love it up here. I love looking out and experiencing the world from a different perspective, as I've said a few times in this 
year-long thing. So have a good day, everybody. Think about your perspective of your intimacy and your, your um, active sex life. And if it's not active, think about your perspective of it and how you want to receive these things as you move ahead into the future from a place of self-love unconditional self-acceptance. I can't really enjoy intimacy if I'm overwhelmed with my own insecurities or baggage or worried about my partner or any of that. You gotta just be in those moments. Tonight on my radio show, Love Dragons Hour Hour, Beacon of Light Radio at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Our topic tonight is this very thing. We're gonna be talking about sex, intimacy, and how to maximize that in your life from a place of self-love, self-acceptance, self getting out of your head and into it so that you're able to really maximize the joy and the importance of this. It's a necessary component to our well-being as, as living beings, as people. So have a great day, everybody. Whoa, day 80. <sighs> life is good. <laughs>